Yesterday, Akai Soft released a new plugin that surprised all of us, and it works for MPC standalone and in the MPC software, as well as other formats like the VST format. If you use any other DAW, it is called Ring the Alarm. It is a dub siren plugin similar to the hardware dub siren plugins used in dance hall, reggae, reggae tongue, and soca and even in some afro beat if you're into that kind of a music i know a lot of people have some things to say and i just want to show it off to you guys because akai sent it over to me and yeah we're going to talk about that and its usefulness and if you might like it or not you'll find out because i'm about to find out so this is Ring the Alarm, and again, it works for all of the MPCs. It's not for the Kai Force right now. And as you can hear, it gives you that vibe. You know what I'm talking about? Like, basically, uh, one of the things I noticed is the UI is animated. I don't think I've ever seen that on there. I'm not saying that's a plus or anything like that, but it's pretty cool. And here's how it looks like in the MPC software, and it functions just the same. just like that and it carries the same animation that you saw in the MPC in standalone what we can do is just go through a couple of presets just for right now it's not many of them it's pretty dope that's called junglist right there that's that preset and yeah it's, it's pretty dope so uh some of the things that you can see right here is just a one layer plugin usually uh akai mpc plugins or a force plugins or whatever have multiple layers and it's just simple it's just a very simple synth that you would use for like dub sirens and stuff like that uh so the first q link will control the oscillator so if i was to change the in real time You can see that, and then this one controls the amp. And then there are nothing on else on Q-Link 1, as you can see I, if I'm pressing or touching on that. And then if I go over here, this controls the LFO. Kind of sweep through it. And this one controls the depth. And this controls the shape of it. But then you can change retriggering. The next one, this one is the decay, the envelope, then the envelope to the filter, and then the third one is LFO speed and envelope. And echo send. So basically, ch change an echo send here, and then you can change the echo itself. So the echo timing, echo feedback, echo age, spring reverb. And then you can also change the send right here uh, just by tapping on that parameter. One of the biggest things I saw people talking about was like, what can I use this for? I don't make reggae, reggaeton, dance hall, Afro beat, soca, and so forth. Well, hey, well, I'll show you what you could do on a hip hop track. So I'm not gonna go all out, but what I'm gonna do is just press and hold menu and then hit the program edit button on the MPC Live 2 and then start up the track. It's a finished track. Just as simple as that. I mean, you could just apply these sounds to like any track that you want. And for the most part, it reminds me of my brother out here, my brother from another mother, uh, Stolen Drums. Uh, he uses a dub synth all the time. If you're wondering what the price point is, I'll have it linked in the description box, but it goes for about $15 as the introduction price. I don't know how long that will last and then it will become $25 from that point on in. You get the VST version and the standalone version if you have an MPC or anything like that, if that's one of the, your questions. And I know a lot of people will question the price point. 
but if you know anything about dub siren synthesizers, they're not cheap. Matter of fact, a simple Google search and you can see the price point of a dub siren synthesizer. A hardware version goes for around $400 to $500. Yes, a single voice analog synthesizer going for that price is absolutely insane. The other thing that I know as a concern, people were talking about, you know, other synthesizers or other things that Akai could have developed. And why would they develop this and they don't do reggae or anything like that? Well, the reason why Akai would tackle something like this makes total sense. If you know anything about hip hop, and if you don't, let me educate you. Cool Herc is Jamaican. Cool Herc is considered one of the pioneers of hip hop. The Jamaicans all together, my people, they have done a lot for electronic music, whether it be jungle, whether it be dubstep, whatever and are not credited that heavy. So this is Ka Akai paying homage to a group of people that, that have contributed to a large part of music, if not a lot. So that is the reason why they would kind of make a plug-in like this. It just makes total sense. And, and that's not to sound pretentious or anything and to make you want to buy it. Um, you don't have to. I mean, that's what the point of this video is about, is just to show you what it is and kind of give you a history lesson on it. We just had a, the 50 years of hip hop, and this is some education for you. That's all. But I do agree with people. They There are some plugins that I would definitely like, and who knows what the future holds. We'll find out very soon, won't we? To the right of me, I have more content for that ass. Make sure that you subscribe. Uh, what do you think about a history lesson? Should I do a history lesson on hip hop? Because obviously, a lot of people don't know a lot about wh where these things come from. And yes, I do get that people want stuff because I want stuff too. But yeah, you never know what's in the future. Like I said before, 